dear respected brothers, sisters, viewers, and everyone. We are talking about those virtuous 10 days of Dhul Hijjah. My dear respected brothers and sisters, Allah Jalla wa Ala uh, commanded us to do different types of ibadat. And if you look at the five pillars of Islam, you will see that they are amazing and they are different in nature and they appeal to every human being. So the entrance or the gates for Islam or the gate for Islam is what? To testify that there is no God but Allah Jalla Ala and he is the only one to be worshipped and Muhammad is his final messenger. Then we have Salah. Salah is five daily activities. Yeah, physical activities along with the spiritual activities. You combine between the movement of the body with the intellectual side, with the movement of the tongue as well. It is really amazing. We can speak about Salah for ages. So this is the first pillar, the second pillar of Al-Islam, the first pillar after the gate that takes you to Islam. Maybe some people, Salah, they might find it uh, not so appealing to them. We have the third pillar of Al-Islam, which is what? Zakah. What is Zakah? Charity. Money, you give it to some needy people. So this is not a physical activity. This is a financial activity. So maybe those people who do not find physical activities or spiritual activities appealing to them, they will find this, this financial activity where you look after others, you care for others, appealing to them. So that will attract them to Islam. Maybe another, this person or some people might not be attracted to Islam by this financial activity where you look after others. Then fasting. Fasting is totally different. What is it? You don't pay money. You don't do something physical. All what you do is to abstain, to control yourself. Oh, some people like it. Many people, unfortunately, don't, they don't pray, but they fast because it is something strange. There is a challenge against yourself. There is self-control. So they fast and they will be attracted to Islam through fasting. Leave all of this. The fifth pillar of Islam is what? Is a journey. You have to travel. You have to mix with other people. What? This is part of Islam? Yes. It is Hajj. You have to travel to another culture. Totally different from your culture. And you have to mix with people. You have to change your clothes. You have to do certain other activities. Wow, it is amazing. And subhanAllah, that's why so many people, maybe they are neglectful of so many Islamic duties, but they like to do Hajj. And this is a pillar of Islam. And we do it in those 10 days of the Hijjah. And the Prophet Sallallahu said, Al-Hajj al-Mabrur, laysa lahu jaza except Jannah. The Mabrur Hajj, which is the best perfect Hajj, to as much as perfect as we can do it as a human beings has no reward less than paradise. The Prophet ﷺ says the one who goes for Hajj and he does it without fisk, without committing certain sins, he will come back as a new born person. It is really amazing. When do we do Hajj? In those 10 days. But there is a question. What about those who can't go for Hajj? We will talk about it later. Assalamu alaikum.